Hello everybody! Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Here today on this lovely evening. The sky is very pink in game, unlike in real life where there is a lot of thunder and lightning. So that might be a thing in the background of this stream. Lots of thunder. Anyways, let's get started here. Thank you, Isabel. So today, um... I have a new villager to show you. Someone moved in since the last stream, so we'll go and talk to them. And also I want to do a bit of landscaping. So I'm planting some trees and just making the town a little bit more pretty. So we have mail here and Tammy right outside our door to start off with here. Um, we've got a hundred, wait, 10 million bells. Cool. I think Nook probably owes us like another 20 million, but we're still waiting to get our money through because we selected the option to have it, you know, in stages delivered to us. So we have a post office poster. That's cool. I'm just gonna like go put that inside my house because um, I don't want to lose it. So I'm gonna go put that on the wall. I don't know if I'll ever sort out this front room. I mean, I will <laughs> eventually. Here, let me just uh, pop that on the wall there. We'll have a look at it. So it's got Pete and Phyllis and Pelly on it. Isn't that cute? Oh man, let's turn the light off here. Save on power. I'm sure power saving is an issue in the world of Animal Crossing, so we'll turn the light off. Um, by landscaping, I just mean planting trees and stuff around town. Because pretty much my flowers are all sorted, but... um. I want to plant some trees, if possible. Let's talk to Tammy here. Yo, Nicola, it's dark out, so watch yourself, Teddy. I changed her catchphrase to Teddy, because she was saying airmail for ages, so I just um, gave her a new catchphrase. Why, so this might be a rumor or whatever, but I heard that Anacotti is thinking about moving. Yes, she is. I spoke to her earlier. Uh, she had the little thing above her head, and I talked to her, and she told me that she is moving. So Anacotti um, actually hasn't been here for very long. She's not been in town for a while. I guess I can put my parasol away. Um, but her house is right here, which means I am super happy that she's actually deciding to move because I want to put the fountain here. And I haven't been able to do that because her house is too close. So she won't be moving out until the 17th, so in 10 days. Um, but in 10 days time, gosh. <laughs> That's a while away. Um, we'll have the fountain and we'll put it like right here and it'll look very cool. Man, shut up, bug. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the thing that's happening. Uh, it's good that Anacotti's moving. We haven't had Sky try to move out yet, which is perfect. We don't want that to happen. Hey Mac, how's it going? That face tells me you're in fine form. Cool. <laughs> oh, I changed his catchphrase as well to big. Because of course I did. <laughs> a quick solid? What is it, dude? Buy something at Sky Lost. Okay, no worries. I can do that. Oh man, there's thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I know her so much that one time she made her move. Yeah. Oh yeah, we shouted in Anacotti's face with a megaphone, didn't we? What a shame. <laughs> Alright, we'll go take this over to Sky because you know how bad I am with these. I'll probably forget or lose it or open it or something. Anyway, this is the new villager's house. Ooh, and they moved in on one of my my little areas, so this is good. Um, so let's go, oh wait, is that Sky? Yeah, she's right here. Hi, um, hi Happy Twitchet. Welcome, you have Sky in your town too? Cool. She's lovely, she's like super sweet. Um, I have a delivery for you, Sky. This from Mac. What is it? A shirt? Oh, please wear it. Please wear it. Please wear it. Oh, dang it. She's still wearing like the default shirt because I thought that um, it might help with her changing her shirt. She's not changed out of it yet. <laughs> Well, hey, I, why don't you have this beatnik tea, Sky? Like, maybe you could wear it. What kind of books? Um, 
like none of these like fantasy. I guess I have a lot of video game guidebooks. So encyclopedias? Yeah. <laughs> Knowledge is priceless. Sure. But um yeah, while we're over here, we, we do have this new villager who's actually in their house, so we'll go see who they are. I mean, I know who they are, but I'll show you who they are. Ah. You got her in the campsite, or from the campsite, in the exact spot you wanted her? Nice! Yeah, Sky was in my town from the very beginning, so I've based my whole housing area around her plot, like, specifically. <laughs> because I want to keep her, so that's been like a whole event. Why, what an introduction to this guy. This is Marcel. He's like a dog clown. Because of course he is. Now we just need Pietro to move in. <laughs> oh, who's there? Oh, it's only you. You're really stealthy, Nicola. Like a ninja. No, that's a uh, Tammy. Tammy's the ninja, right? Is that where we're at with the lore? I don't even remember. <laughs> tomato salad? I mean, technically tomato is a fruit. You want some fruit? Sure, I'll do that for you, Marcel. I think I have some in my inventory, actually. Um, would you like to eat this? I have a lost item in my, in my inventory. But I don't want to give it back because I'm trying to collect all the weird items so I'm holding on to it until it's no longer valid and then I can place it in my house. So everyone is gonna have like, did you lose this? Um, but they didn't lose it because I've got it now. <laughs> A cow skull. Alright. I don't know if anyone in town, if that would fit anybody's theme, but thanks anyway. So yeah, Marcel, we have another doggo. We're up to three doggos now, which is kind of interesting. He has a lot of lucky cats. <laughs> it's kind of a funny house. You'd think the animals would ask the mayor before moving in? Yeah, maybe that's what's gonna happen in New Horizons. Maybe we'll actually be able to create housing plots, like as a public work project. That would be ideal, for sure. But yeah, he's now neighbor to Sky which is kind of cool. It's nice to see this is actually going to work eventually, <laughs> after a long time. I want to just kind of let all the, the houses fill up these plots and then I'll start using amiibo cards to slowly introduce my ideal animals into the town. But it's nice to see a lot of variety, so we're just gonna leave it, the game to sort of naturally progress for a little while. Um, oh my gosh, he, I think he's wanting furniture, but I don't think the cow skull would really suit him. What's up with you, Carlos? Events? Yeah, there's not a huge amount going on in August. We have fireworks every Sunday, but aside from that, it's really just the bug off, I think, for the month of August. But um, I think this little area is kind of new down here since I last played on stream. I plan on putting one of every uh, tropical fruit along here in a row, so all five trees and the persimmon as well. But we're gonna have to wait for this guy to move out. Yeah, you. <laughs> Until that can happen, but I've just, I've got a little flower patch and a bench just to kind of fill up the space. So this is like the, the residential area's little garden. So this is nice. I feel like I've got like way too many benches, but I like the bench. The bench is nice. It's functional. So yeah. Do you have any plans to create a Discord server? I do, I just have not had the time to get around to managing all my Twitch stuff recently. Like I've been either not feeling well or busy, but it's, it is on my to-do list, yeah. Your villages are all adorable, but their houses are so terribly placed. Oh no. Yeah, I kind of started this town with the hope of creating this setup and I've, I've I'm managing to do it amazingly. Um, fortunately, Sky's house was in a position that I could work around it. Um, the only thing I'm not happy with is this bridge, but there's really not much I can do about it. So the bridge is kind of just staying as it is for right now. Um, over here, I think I had a couple bits and pieces over here last time, but this is going to be like the Zen area. So I've got the bell, bong, <laughs> and I've got a nice clock. 
which is really nice. So yeah, again, once Harry goes, we'll be able to have like this, this nice area and plant some bamboo. And I'll plant some regular trees, like saplings, so we can have cherry blossoms in the spring and stuff like that. Uh, here's the reset center. Uh, why do you have so many weeds? I'm trying to get Leaf to show up for the weeding mini game because I don't have some of the furniture items that he gives you as a reward for the weeding mini game. So I'm just letting my weeds grow until he arrives and then I'm going to hopefully get the furniture items that I'm missing. So Nicola, you said you wanted a military uniform. Did I? Wow, that's what the game said. <laughs> Did I? Maybe it wasn't. I mean, I'll take it. Why don't you wear it? Everyone's wearing default clothes. <laughs> I need to put, make some designs and put them in Able Sisters because I'm sick and tired of seeing all the default stuff. I mean, do you want to like take it back and put it on? That would probably suit you like real nice. An ocean sunfish? Dude! That's like, why do they always ask me for the rare fish? <laughs> this always happens to me. I mean, I'll say yeah, but like, dude, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Jeez, what a guy. Oh yeah, can you catch me, um, an ocean sunfish, please? I mean, I could go to the island, but that's like a huge amount of effort. I'm not sure if Harry's worth the effort on this particular occasion. <laughs> um, hey, BLT. Or bit. I can't even read. <laughs> the text is too small on my screen. BLT, I think it is. Welcome. Um, yeah, I think this area is just pretty much the same. I've got the topiary around here, and when Anacotti goes, we'll have the fountain, and that'll be so nice. This area will be awesome. And when I can get some pink roses, I'm going to plant them in the spaces between the red roses and it's going to be so pretty and oh my god. It's going to be really nice. And we have the chill area down here where you can like go fishing, just have like a little nap. I'm pretending these are chairs, but they're actually beds. I suppose you could sit on the tree stump. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Oh, the sky is so nice. Um, the weeding minigame is when I think you have 50 or more weeds in your town. It's either 30 or 50. Um, and Leaf will appear outside your house and he'll say that there's too many weeds. And then if you manage to pull all of the weeds in a certain time, um, I don't think it's even a time limit really. It's just if you get them all, he'll give you part of the a furniture set that's exclusive to him. So I have, I think, four pieces of it. So I, I still need quite a few pieces, so I'm, I'm just letting the weeds pile up so I can do that. <laughs> Catch me the Neptuna, please. <laughs> I know, right? Jeez. That is a crossover that I would not want to happen. Gosh, that was so annoying. <laughs> Fancy Hourglass, gee whiz. Um, how did you create the background for Dragon Quest IX? Uh, the video? Um, it's the... It's one of the backgrounds for one of the menus. Um, I just got that sprite and duplicated it a bunch. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like that's it. It's based on the colour that you're, that you pick as your avatar's colour that you see in battle. So it's like the dark blue colour which just happens to be sort of the, the, the go-to slime colour. Um, so yeah, that's how that worked out. Who's that up there? Oh, it's Harry. Of course it's Harry. We go see Biscuit. Biscuit's in his house. But yeah, we have three dogs now. I don't even feel like I've been talking to the doggos that much, but maybe I have. Oh man. I gave him that teddy bear. I don't know if that was there last time, but... Oh, come on, Biscuit. You can't have the same reaction that Marcel did. <laughs> oh, that's kind of bad. Feels bad when that happens. The next event is a ways off. Yeah, we'll have fireworks on Sunday. I have all the fireworks items, so I don't need to worry about that. But I guess if you want to stock up on lovely phones, now is the time. Because the lovely phone is a pretty good item. And this is when you get it. So if you haven't got it, be sure to get it already. I think I have a fossil I need to take to the museum. So let me just go check retail real quick. You had a battle with a scorpion tarantula, but you got them? Nice, good job. It took me a couple nights to get both of them. It was quite an experience. I'll put it that way. 
So here we have the T-Rex model, so we can go add that to the museum in my little exhibition room. You have all of them but the love tester? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really the only useful one is the lovely phone, but you gotta get them all for completion's sake if you're that kind of person, which I am. <laughs> so, just one of those things, but I, I had it already from my previous save file. The town before I sold it, or rather the town that I sold to make this town um, had it, so... Yeah, actually my store is upgrading tomorrow, it closes, um, so we'll be getting the next upgrade which will combine the gardening store and the nook store. So progress is being made and then there's only one more upgrade. But we'll have to do all of the Gracie fashion checks for that, so I need to order some accessories and shirts and stuff to make sure I have all the combinations to do the Gracie stuff. Um, I don't actually need to talk to you, Blathers. I want to go upstairs. Just to put my little tiny dinosaur model away. Ideally. Let's go in here. Making some progress. How many do I have? Seven, eight. A whole line. I think these pretty much fill up like most of the room if you leave a space. So that's what, like, three rows and a little bit. So yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely we're getting there. I still need to get good wallpaper for this room. I'm not sure. You want the festival set? Yeah, I don't know if I even ever fully got all of the festival set because I think I'm missing some of the feathers. I think they're in here even. Yeah, I don't even think I got all the feathers. Might have to revisit that next year, which would be really weird because New Horizons will be out by that point. <laughs> so that might be a bit a bit awkward, but um, yeah, I don't think I actually got everything. Because there's the headgear as well, although I think you can order it from his um, caravan. His camper van. I think you can order a few pieces of the set from there. I mean, you can time travel, but like, I don't really want to do that with this town. I do have another cartridge, so it could happen. I could do a bit of cheats. Um, do I need to do anything else in here? I already saw Shrunk today. I got um, another emotion. I filled up a whole page already. So I can do all the dumb things with my character. Ah. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's nice because the animals actually react to it. It's quite funny. I like it. Um, I'm trying to think if I had anything to do other than just mess around with trees today. Because I did play earlier. Man, it'd be nice if someone would take these shirts off my hands and wear them. Maybe I'll just keep them in my inventory and see if Sky or Harry or Carlos wants them. Because I think they're the only ones like walking around. Oh look, he's down on the beach with a shovel. Very suspicious. He's doing a Tammy on us. Hey, Carlos. You good? Alright. <laughs> well, I guess we could see if there's a fin poking out the water. Maybe we will actually do the thing for Harry and get him a, an ocean sunfish. And I don't see any fishies. Hello? Fishies? Hello? Okay then, I'm stockpiling lilies, look. So many lilies. Because eventually I'm just gonna like dot them around town as decoration. Um, so they're just now all on the beach until I figure my layout out. Layout out. <laughs> I think it's um definitely worth buying a Switch for New Horizons. Like if you're gonna, I mean the Switch already has a, a great library, but if you're an Animal Crossing fan, I feel like New Horizons is gonna be really good. I'm, I'm so hopeful. Um, let me go and get some fruit and we'll start planting trees, shall we? I think it's time. Yeah, he's, he's burying the evidence, committing a crime. That's definitely what Tammy does. I don't know about Carlos. Um, <laughs> maybe though. Uh, let me just take 
all of these out because right now I planted my cherries like I want to have an area for each fruit um, and I've done cherries and I've done some apple but apples kind of difficult because it's my town fruit so I don't want to um, I want to have both the perfect and the regular you okay Mac you're just hanging out behind Tammy's house everyone's so suspicious today what the heck <laughs> But yeah, like I have perfect apples around here and I did dot around a few regular apple trees but I feel like I don't have that many. It's so like I've got some here around the plaza. Um, I've got one here. I feel like I need to plant like a couple more down here and then we'll change to another fruit maybe. Or maybe I go everything north of the fountain area is regular apple. I could probably plan- oh gosh it's so difficult. <laughs> this is gonna be me for the next hour just being like maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that and that's the whole thing. <laughs> you got Jingle to move into your town with the amiibo card? Nice! That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be- I have my animal list of who I want to move in. Does not include any special or amiibo exclusive villagers. Like, I was looking at the Sanrio stuff and I'm like, you know what? Some of them are cute, but some of them are just a bit weird. <laughs> so, we're having regular animals move into my town eventually. Um, I feel like I have enough apples, so what I might do is just chop down some of the perfect trees and replace them with regular apple trees. So down here I've got cherries and I want to change position of a few of these houses. Uh, houses? Uh, trees. <laughs> Words are hard. And they've grown now so I can at least harvest the fruit from them. But I have cherries which kind of goes into the houses. Um, but I want to just have regular saplings around here. I'm just waiting on gathering enough from the store. So I have three over here right now. Um, and then up here is also going to be just the regular saplings. Cause I want them to turn to cherry blossoms and just be like pure trees, which will be cool. Yeah, tree houses, man, <laughs> that would be sick. Oh, I thought she was gonna be, I think you've changed my clothes. Dude, your greeting is fine. Stay as it is. You just need to wear a different shirt. That's your problem. I mean, Tammy as well? Like, everyone's in default shirts. Man, are you okay, Tammy? I think I did speak to her, but I'll speak to her again. Yeah, Pete does pretty good. Pete does do pretty good. Alright, so we've got pear and orange and peach still to plant. So we're gonna have to like figure out how to fit all these trees in in a really nice way and ignore as if the houses weren't here because we're gonna have to get some of them to move out. Um, so we've got this huge area. I still don't know what I'm doing with this area. I wanted to create like a hedge maze but I'm not really sure it's gonna work here because it's a pretty like just long vertical area. So I'm not sure if the hedge maze would work. Can maybe do like a teeny tiny hedge maze around here, like around where Biscuit's house is. Um, and oh ho, thank you. Or and oh who? I can't say names. Names are hard. Hi, welcome. And yeah, I do have Biscuit. We were just talking about Biscuit. I, I like Biscuit, but eventually he's going to have to move out um, because he's not on my ideal list of 10 villagers, but he's like, he's pretty high up my list. Look at him, he's hiding. Ah, rotate the camera. Sometimes I forget I can rotate the camera, but I can rotate the camera. How are you doing, pal? A rumor? A billionaire? Yeah, that's because I just passed 10 million bells in my savings thanks to old Nook finally paying me the the loan or not the loan, the um the sale of my town, slowly but surely. 
We'll get it after I think it's 100 days. It splits it into 100 payments. New Horizons has tree houses. Yeah, I think that could be really interesting. Just different types of houses depending on the type of animal. Because it makes sense that like birds would have a different, you know, house to a horse. Like birds could maybe have like a different door, like a round door, like a little birdhouse entrance. Also look at this bug. Look at it. Don't feel like I see these guys very often, but there you go. It's a little jewel beetle. It's kind of cool. Speaking of bugs, we actually do have some things to catch. Hang on, let me let me consult my notebook here. <laughs> um, so it's August, which means I can now get... Oh, house centipede. We're gonna hit some rocks, friends. <laughs> That's gonna be part of the stream. Hitting rocks after 7 p.m. Trying to find the house centipede. Um, the petal tail dragonfly I could get from the island, but he could appear right now, actually. We're in the right time for him. And then we've got the softshell turtle, which is a river fish, which we could try and catch right now. And then we can also go diving for a couple things. So, yeah, there's some stuff to do. We could do some bug catching and whatnot. But if I see a petal tail dragonfly, I'll probably, like get a huge jump scare and <laughs> and get out of the fright of my life because those guys are big those dragonflies are huge so I've, I've got my net ready uh, so we'll see what happens um but yeah this is the cherry zone should we work on the cherry zone first and then worry about the other fruit after i feel like i could probably put a tree here maybe let's just grab some some cherries and we'll try and figure this out a little bit better. Tarantula spawns after seven. Yes, it does. <laughs> Please don't remind me. I hate it so much. It's the worst. Well, yeah, I think the tarantula is worse than the scorpion. <laughs> For sure. Ugh. Neither of which are, are great. We'll plant another tree here. Because this is sort of like my gardeny area, because my house is like right over here. Man, Tammy's house is just so in the way. <laughs> like it couldn't be more in the way. Um, maybe we can plant another tree here. And then chop this one down and put another tree like here maybe? I think that might look better. And then it's kind of, it's symmetrical to the bench, but it's still kind of messy back here. I think that would work out a little bit better. Let's chop this tree down. I'm getting all the tools out. That's the watering can. That's the rod. The heck? Do I actually not have my axe on me? All right, well, I guess it's inside then. Hey, Aqua XOXO1, thank you for following, friend. Oh dear, let's go grab this axe, shall we? Um, I'm not having visitors to my town at the moment. I'm just kind of like um, walking around doing stuff in my town. So not not at this moment, friend. Um, okay, let me grab the golden axe because I don't need the uh, tree stumps at the moment. I've yet to see a silver axe in the island since the start of my playthrough. So they're, they're kind of uh, rare, I guess. Um, can you build me a house? I can't. Oh my god, words are so hard. I can't read my laptop. I need to make the text bigger. Thank you for following anyway. <laughs> I like caught half of your name and then I was like, my eyes didn't do work. My eyes didn't do work. I'm also great at speaking. Don't know if you know this about me. I have a flawless speaking voice. <laughs> Alright, let's plant these two cherries and chop this middle tree down. I think it'll look better. I think it will look much better. Dig up this tree stump. Of course, I've still got all these patterns on the ground um, to protect houses moving in where I don't want them to. I still don't know what my solution is long term in terms of like getting all the houses where I want and having to protect the tiles to not leave a three by three space because like there you can't build enough public works projects and it would look stupid so I think I'm just gonna have to um, 
hand. Oh, look here, he planted some flowers. Isn't that sweet? Um, what the heck is that noise? Is it like a grasshopper or something? It must be. Oh, look, there it is. There it is. I think that's the rice grasshopper, which is the new one to August. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I think I was talking about something and just stopped mid-sentence. Anyways, um, yeah, I think this will look better here. Um, there's this sort of awkward space here where I kind of want to plant trees, but I don't want them to obscure the flowers. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. I have a couple down here which look okay. Um, I think these are fine as they are. We'll need to wait for Frita to move out, I think, before planting any more over this way. And there's one cherry tree here. So yeah, this is where the cherry trees stop. So they pretty much surround the the cafe. I should probably plant some trees here. So why don't we go for... Should we plant it like right on the corner here? We'll just plant a few in a line and see how it looks. I can always chop them down if they don't... Um, Oh dang it, I thought you could, um, I thought you could shake trees. Maybe you can't with the shovel. You can with a slingshot though, so that's fine. Oh, no, I want to pick up the cherry. Game, don't do this to me, please. <laughs> please do not do this to me. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's plant these fit a couple down here and if they look bad or if they obscure the path we can just um dig them up let's see we could do two spaces in between how's that gonna look that looks about right i think so we'll need to grab some more cherries Yeah, I think we should do some fishing as well. I want to get that um, the last river fish I need and then I'm up to date. Can maybe go diving. Diving's kind of boring, but I need to do it at some point. And they're both from a small shadow, so it shouldn't take too long. I mean, <laughs> I say it shouldn't take too long, but really it shouldn't. Um, so we can maybe do like a little bit of diving to try and catch me up with my encyclopedia. That'd be good. Um, I suppose we could try planting some here as well. If we're leaving the two space, it lines up with my little patterns here, so that's easy enough. Um, could probably do another one, but I'd, I think I'll wait until Tammy moves out there. Because it's one of those awkward house placements. We're going to need one extra cherry here. I think um, this area should be fine when these are planted. Um, I feel like I'm probably going to chop these ones down here because they're very close to the path. So what I might do instead is I might plant some bushes here instead just to put something in this space. In fact, I'm not going to plant one there because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be happy with these trees. But I could do bushes. That might look quite good. Tammy? <laughs> Why are you, like, wistfully looking over the edge with a shovel? What is going on today? Arm wrestling? Okay. Where do I rank? I mean, I don't think I'm particularly strong. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, for sure. That is definitely my, <laughs> my thinking. Oh jeez, arm wrestling. We have quite a few, like, strong animals. Oh, Mac, <laughs> please turn around. I just wanted to, like, I want to see if you have, like, a little notification thing for me. No, okay. <laughs> Man, there's just, like, this one tile space by the cafe. It's so small back there. Oh gee. See, I think these trees might be okay. I'm not sure. We'll just leave it for now and we'll figure it out later. Oh. Game did a bit of a lag there. I think we're okay though. 
She's near the trees I just planted with a shovel. Oh my gosh, she is. Don't sabotage it. It's because I'm planting them near her house. She's like, what the heck is going on in my garden? <laughs> yeah, they're all being like kind of suspicious tonight. I don't know what's going on. I think they're planning something spooky. Um, okay, I need to figure out, I've got oranges, peaches, and pears, and I've got basically this whole area to figure out where I want to plant them all. So, oh, I hear a balloon. There it is. That is a net. That is an axe. That is a slingshot. We'll just wait for it to come over. Hi, Sky. Please take my t-shirts. You need to, like, wear something else. I don't even care if it looks bad at this point. I just want you to wear something else. Please. <laughs> oh god, not the axe. Nope, not that either. Thank you. <laughs> Approaches sky with axe. Red corner. That's interesting. It's not a balloon item, so that makes me happy. Um... So I think we can go basically from this side of the path we can have a section of a type of tree which can kind of loop back to these apples. So this whole section can be a tree from sort of where the where the river breaks can be the the line that we draw, the imaginary line. Um so we can maybe do like a couple more apples here just to even things out a bit. We can make like a perfect square or diamond of of apple trees here. That might look cool. Because I do want the apples to be prominent because it's our town fruit, but at the same time, like, I want to have a little bit of everything, so... Because this is kind of an awkward space. Because I've kept this one as a tree stump because it had a musical note on it, and I think that's cool. So we're keeping that one there. Um, but honestly, like, this is probably fine. So we'll plant some trees. We'll just like dig a bunch of holes and then we can change the layout if we want to later. Because I'm up for planting some trees along the side of the road here. I think that would look cool. How many spaces is that? One, two, three. One, two, three. We need to dig this or move this. Um. I guess I'll need to place down a pattern to stop people moving in because you know that's what they like to do. They move in the weirdest places. <laughs> they really do. I mean Tammy's house. I mean look there's my house and there's Tammy's. I mean it's ridiculous. <laughs> there's like two squares required space and that's it. Do you believe me if I said I'd be, I would be watching you from my Switch? Oh, that's cool. Can you do that? On um, Switch? I know there's like, YouTube. Um, will this work out? See again, I feel like I'm gonna block these flowers. Oh, tree placement is so annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we can move these holes down though. I think that'd be fine. So if we put a tree instead on this square, Gosh, this is so tedious, but like, it's, it's part of the process, you know? Um, so I need to have paths here as well. Put that down. Okay. And then we'll plant this tree here. And then this tree one more down. Because this will still work, because it's, um... Not super close to the river. Perfect. Um, let's see. So I guess if we have the straight lines next to the path and then we can go a little bit more natural with the placement of the other trees. Um, I don't think we can plant here because of, of the house. Oh, I see you've done like a, a thing to your switch. I understand. It's kind of cool though. Um, see, I don't want to plant. I want to plant on this row and I think Biscuit's house is going to mess it up. Hmm. 
Man, I'm like thinking, I'm not even speaking at this point. <laughs> I'm just thinking about trees. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to do something to your Switch physically, but you've got an SD card to make it happen. It's not a, like a, a feature of Switch. Plain and simple. Um, where did I say it was gonna end like here, right? Okay. Um, let's go for, not there. We'll have a nice tree here. I don't think that will be affected by Biscuit's house. Um, I th think it should be able to grow there. That should be fine. Just gonna dig some holes. I yeah, I think I don't want to risk planting stuff too close to his house, so it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit weird for the time being. Um, we'll do like a nice little cluster of trees here, and then maybe one more like here and then that'll be the split to a different tree i think i want to put one right here as well come on game there we go i'll just drop down another pattern wait that's not gonna work i need to put another pattern here I'm gonna have to go and like reevaluate all of my squares to make sure that I've not messed up somewhere with all this tree planting. Because no doubt I will. Because um, if I hadn't put this one here, then there would have been a 3x3 three three right here, and then the villager could have moved in. Ugh, it's not what we want, not after I've gone to all this effort to plan it all out properly. Jeez. <laughs> I think we're all good up here though. It's nearly seven where you are and I'm, you're getting scared for tarantulas. Yes, yeah, same. In uh, 17 minutes. <laughs> and then it's time. Tarantulas and scorpions. Double the fun. I use the term fun very loosely. <laughs> it's not fun at all. So all of this can be, I think, oranges and then We'll move on to, I think, peaches and then pears. So I think all of this area here will be pears and then all of this area here will be peaches. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> um, so let's start peaches here. Why not? I should probably plant all the oranges first, actually, before I get carried away here. I think I've only got nine, so I'll see how far we get. And then I'll just wait for the trees to grow and then plant some more like I did with the cherries. It's very rare that you get this stuff right the first time, so... Do -do -do. Is fun for the viewers? Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Gosh, I hate it so much. And now I'm gonna have all these little saplings, which are gonna be really suspicious. Like these small shapes in the corner of my vision. That I'm gonna think everything's a tarantula <laughs> at this point. Because the weeds were doing that to me when we were looking before. Every weed I was looking at it and I was like, what is that? <laughs> oh dear. Hey Mac. Oh. You want to talk? Please take one of my shirts. No, I mean... I love the denim vest, but like, I have one already and also I want you to take my shirts, not the other way around. Mac, please. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, well, be interested now, dude. Like, stop wearing the default clothes. It's really annoying. Something I definitely want in New Horizons is to be able to suggest an outfit like you can in Pocket Camp. Um, so you can give them shirts to wear for sure, like that has to be a feature. Um, like Pocket Camp. That would be super good. And also I'd like to be able to do like house makeovers, a, like a la Happy Home Designer. We're missing one fruit. Oh well. What I'll do is I'll put a different path down just to mark where I want to put it. Um, 
yeah, I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I, I think it should be, you should be able to give the option to do like a little makeover to your villagers' houses, just like in Happy Home Designer. Like you can use their, um, use their existing furniture and add your own as well. I mean, even just rearranging stuff would be cool. Um, we're now planting pears. Which is good. I don't want it to be directly below that other one. Let's try here. I hear a balloon. Hang on. Oh god. <laughs> Too many holes. Where's the balloon? Hello? Oh, it's right. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's in such an awkward place. Yeah, the, the shirt timing was pretty good, huh? <laughs> it always happens this way. I don't know how the game does it, but um, it tends to produce... The things that I don't want to happen uh, at the like most inappropriate times, for sure. <laughs> Come on, balloon. I'll just wait like right here. Phew. Nice. What do I have from Phineas? I think I have one balloon badge. Uh, yeah, I've got the bronze one. So we still have a ways to go on the balloons. You just gotta pop them when you see them. Alright, um, we don't want this. And we don't want this. So this is where the bridge is as well, so I need to be mindful of that. Um, I'll go for here. And also this is the fountain area, so I want it to look like kinda nice as well. Do like another one here. Oh. Scary bug, but not the scariest kind of bug. <laughs> Actually, I think I wanted a tree here as well. Should we make this one a pear? I think that'd be cool. And then everything to the right will be peaches. Is that what's left? I think that's what's left. Um, so we can do like another tree here. To kind of give like you some shade, you know, when you're in the chair in the bed and you can like chill out and it'll be really nice um we could like cluster some more trees together i still i feel like i should do something here but ugh, i'm just not quite sure like what to do with this area like i want to i want to do some kind of set piece but i feel like i've done all the set pieces that i want because I've got my like my zen garden, my campsite area, I've got the residential zone, I've got the fountain plaza. So like I'm not really sure what my other piece should be. But I can always just chop the trees down, like nothing's set in stone. Um, so we'll just keep plodding along here. I'll maybe leave like a little bit of a clearing, because it doesn't make sense that you would cross the bridge and immediately be faced by trees. So maybe I can figure out, like, a way to hook up my path. Cause I don't, I don't really want to hook up my path. I mean, I'm kind of thinking of deleting this bridge, but I really like it because it's on like the diagonal. Cause like, my main path is here. So I technically could link it up. So I feel like this bridge is sort of like, just an off, off road like a shortcut through the woods kind of thing like it's not really part of the actual navigation of the town it's just something that you can use if you want to zip through really quick I don't know it's kind of a tricky one so over here see I feel like we maybe need some more room for peaches so I think the peaches can probably cross over here a little bit so if those two were peaches and then everything else here were pears I think that would work quite well. Or maybe these three could be peaches and then everything else could be pears. Let's plant some pears. If it looks crap, we can just knock them down and try again for sure. I'm also about to be bitten by a mosquito, which is never fun. <laughs> we'll try and avoid that guy. Pears. Pairs of pears. Oh yeah, what was in the balloon? I didn't even open it. Balloon clock. Okay. 
I have no interest in balloon furniture because I have all of the set already. Man, look at all these saplings we're planting. This is crazy. There's so many of them. Are we going to be one short again? <laughs> well, I guess that means I'm being consistent with my amount of, amounts of trees. Alright, we'll put a path down here to be like... You should plant a pear here when you have it. There we go. Alright, this is gonna be a nice, a nice wood area. Cool. So yeah, we'll have these three be peaches. Cause I think I was planning to like mitter the trees. Yeah, here we go. Although that might be too close. Nah, I think it's fine. The peaches will look nice with the uh, pink roses as well. So let's do that. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, we'll just burge all the trees. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta happen, you know? Oh my gosh, look, I've got two mosquitoes on me right now. <laughs> Go away, please. I'm like moving just far enough away every time I plant a tree that they can't actually bite me. <laughs> so I'm just gathering this huge following of mosquitoes. You could probably do this until every bug spawn in the town had become a mosquito and you just had like this massive cloud following you. That would be very creepy. I do not think I would enjoy that at all. <laughs> I guess it's interesting to think about though. Um, I could probably get away with a tree. A tree or two, perhaps? Um, if we put one here... Oh no. I don't want to get rid of my weeds. I've worked so hard to keep these weeds here. Sorry, weed. Rest in pieces. Man, I see animals. My villagers are like walking around and they're pulling the weeds up and I'm like, No, stop it! I don't want you to do that. I mean, it's cute and everything, but like, I really don't want them to do that. I think I've lost the mosquitoes somehow. Oh hey, here's Harry. He's made it all the way down here. Would you like a shirt? What is it? What is it? Oh my... What is this game? What is this game? I am not jealous of your shirt. He wants my furniture. Oh, I hate this game so much. <laughs> Don't you dare put that in your house, Harry. I'll be so mad. Don't make me come over there. Don't make me come over there. Don't you dare put that in your house. What is this game? <laughs> I just want people to take my shirts. I do not want their shirts. I do not need their shirts. No shirts. No capes. Only shirts. Should we put another peach tree here? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, let's see, that means I'm gonna have to put like a pattern here to protect this area and then I think we're all good. Alright, we have one more so let's just plant it like here maybe or probably further up. I don't want to plant them in lines but that's like what my brain is telling me to do at the same time. I'm like, no brain! No lines. We want messy trees, please. Here, we'll bury our last peach right here. I've got four shirts now, by the way. <laughs> like, they're all pretty cool looking shirts as well. So this needs to happen. Like, the animals need to do this. This is so bizarre. <laughs> and none of them are taking the shirts at all. Um... I need my net in case of emergencies and can get rid of all of that furniture and I'm holding on to the lost item for now. All right. Let me go sell this stuff and we'll just have the shirts and then I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> That's the plan. So hopefully, um, hopefully the animals will take some of my shirts. Maybe, that'd be really good. That'd be perfect. All right, I'm gonna sell this, this, and this. 
Okay. Oh, also, I managed to um, get enough haircuts and shampoodle that I could get the eye color change, the contacts. So now my character has green eyes and like the hair that I want. So my character actually looks how I want her to look, which is really cool. It takes quite a while to get to the contacts, but um, it's happened, so. Oh look, someone's planted some yellow roses. I actually think I need yellow roses for down at the beach. Let me just go check that. Hi Tammy. You've put your shovel away now? Hi Sky. You want a shirt? Nope. Okay. <laughs> she just saw me and immediately turned around. Oh no, I don't need yellow roses. Actually, I think... I think I have a task to catch this guy. Maybe? I think it told me to go to the island and catch a beetle, but I don't know if it has to actually be the island. So, uh, not that, this. The heck? Oh, it's a golden stag. Oh, not the right beetle. Okay, game. I'm sorry about that. Jeez. <laughs> um, we need to go fishing in the river, though. This might be a really random question, but what type of 3DS do you have? Um, oh my god, did you hear that? Someone just pulled a weed. Who was it? Was it you? Was it you? Who did that? It might have been Sky. I can't be mad at Sky. It's probably Sky. <laughs> I just heard the bloop <laughs> and I was like, no, don't do it. Um, what type of 3DS do I have? Um, I have a few of them. <laughs> so the one I'm playing on right now is my recording system and this is a 3DS XL. So it's not one of the new models. Um, the one that I personally have is a new 3DS in white because I got the Ambassador Edition uh, back when the 3DS came out or the new 3DS came out and um, that's the one that I'm still using so I have the Ambassador one. I also have a 2DS which I bought just because it's cute and I wanted another 2DS. I, it was super cheap, it was like £60 and I was like, you know what, I think it'd be cool to have a 2DS. So it's like the original 2DS, the small one. Um, so yeah, but over the years I've, I've bought and sold quite a few. I had the Pikachu 3DS XL for a while and I sold that and made like £200 off it because I bought it when it came out and then um, I sold it later on when I changed models to something else that came out. And because it was a rare Pokemon edition, you know, they tend to go up in value. And I, I mean, I sold it for like £200 profit. So that was a bit nuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're looking for a fish. We're looking for the, the soft shell turtle. Did that fish just disappear because of the time change? Oh no, it's still here. So now we're in Tarantula Scorpion Town. Which is not fun. Um and I have no interest in catching them. If I see them, I'm just gonna like ignore them. Or if I see one and there's a villager nearby, I wanna talk to them. Cause we never got to test that theory that the villagers react if there's one nearby. So I really wanna figure out if that's the case. That was me concentrating on catching the fish. I'm not sure what size of shadow it is. I think it's just like a medium sized shadow. So, I think that one's too small, for example. Hello, Mac. With all these creepy saplings, any one of these could be a tarantula if you look at it wrong. <laughs> Sky? Oh my gosh. What is happening? What the heck is this game? Now, Sky, she would look great in that shirt. Why is she doing this? Somebody better take a shirt off me by the end of the stream. Don't, don't clip it. <laughs> don't say it out of context. God damn it. <laughs> Seriously though, what is with all these animals and giving me shirts when I desperately wish them to take them from me? Ugh. Thanks for the business advice. Yeah, I know, right? Jeez. Had so many 3DS's over the years. 
Where did that fish go? Did it go off screen? There is a fish there, right? Am I being dumb? This might be me being dumb. Don't worry about it. Ugh. I think this fish might be too big, but I'm gonna catch it anyway. <laughs> Ugh, stupid shirts. Stupid shirts. Man, I think I saw Harry in the background. Maybe he wants a shirt. Harry? I know you're like a super fashionista. All that Penelope taught you. You don't want a shirt? Man, everyone's getting the shovels out today. It's making me real nervous, actually. I'm not a huge fan of the shovel life. I'm gonna be honest. Hello, fishies. Oh, I think... I don't think this size is correct. I think we want, like, a slightly smaller fish. I wrote down on my notes, medium. I don't know what that means now. <laughs> Come on, fish. Got him. Yet another black bass. I could do with some of those for pocket camp, actually. I'm running a little bit low on the... On the old, the old bass. It was weird. The uh, the Animal Crossing account tweeted out about the next set of fortune cookies being out, but they're not out yet. So maybe it's happening tomorrow. I'm not sure. But they've been running the the Hello Kitty Sanrio characters with fortune cookies and having like tasks and stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. I can get more leaf tickets and whatever. Uh, but it's not out yet. But I don't think that account is particularly accurate. I'm sure this has happened before. Where it said stuff's out, but it hasn't actually been out yet. I don't know. I think that was the um, the Shadow Says that we want, by the way. The one for the Dace, I think. Oh, Mac, you okay there, bud? You're just like running around very fast. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the one. This is the one for sure. Oh, he scared away the other fishy. Oh. This was not the one. <laughs> oh no, I can't hold it. Let it go. That's fine. Anything else over here? No. Alright, let's head over to retail. I mean, the problem is that my inventory is full of shirts that nobody will take from me. <laughs> it's like they're pre preventing my, my fishing. Oh. Tammy's like really happy with herself. I wonder what happened. Maybe she had a chat with Harry. Oh no, it was Sky. Oh look, they're both super happy. <laughs> Sounds good, they're singing the tune. <laughs> oh, it sounds really nice when Sky sings it. Oh, it's super cute. All right, let's go sell these fishies. Be fortunate to get those cookies soon. Damn straight. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't even want the cookies. I just want the challenges to get the leaf tickets, you know? You gotta hoard those leaf tickets. Um, oh my god, five shirts now. Here, take all of these things. I do not wish to have these things anymore. 9,000 bells. Oh, I guess there was like a, a big beetle in there, wasn't there? Get that cash money. They're happy they're able to get you to take their shirts. Ugh. Sucks so bad though. <laughs> it's happened like three times at least. Ah. All right, let's head down here. We'll start from this side. Anything at the waterfall per chance? I don't think so. Also, I've decided that I'm gonna make a second character and I'm gonna put their house here when Mac moves out. And that's gonna be the Roxy character just so that I have some more storage space for my ridiculous amounts of furniture and clothes. It needs to happen. Especially by the time we get um, the store upgrade and I can buy stuff from Gracie because I don't even think I've gotten all of the Gracie furniture set so I'm gonna need even more space because I don't want to buy those and just immediately sell them because that's a huge waste of money. 
if I ever actually want to use the pieces. Oh, look at these dudes up here doing some hardcore watering and like just hanging out, being dudes. Harry's like running away now. He's like, go away from, I don't want your shirt. <laughs> Please take my shirt. I think this fish is too big, but oh, it's going to be like every single fish is going to be a black bass. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's a shame that um, Marcel isn't out and about. We only kind of talked to him the one time. We should go pay him another visit before we end the stream off since he's our newbie here. Our new villager. Come on, fish. That's not what we want. <laughs> it's not the sweet fish. I do think it is this shadow size, though. It seems about right. Also, it's just a really weird creature to have. Like, we're trying to catch a turtle. Which I find is just a bit odd. That is not a turtle. That is another sweet fish. <laughs> Alrighty, let's keep going. I wonder if anything's fallen down the waterfall. Man, look at this shot. It's so epic. Extreme fishing. There's nothing down there. That's a shame. <laughs> it's always nice to catch fish from down the, the waterfall. It feels pretty epic. Cross over the bridge here. Mac, do you want one of my shirts yet? No? Okay. <laughs> Harry? Nope. Alright. <laughs> Jeez, why are they making this so difficult? I just want them to look cute. They don't look cute in the defaults. They're making me do a design and I'm like not talented enough to do that. I'm gonna have to find some QR codes. Because I'm no good at designing shirts at all. It's a really awkward fish. Oh, dang it. Someone was like running across the bridge and it made a sound. Sky, was it you? Tammy? You guys, uh, you want a shirt? No? Anyone? Please. Prissy, please. <laughs> the thing is, like, all of these shirts are really nice looking shirts. And like, you know, people could pull off those designs. It's not like the ugly shirts that nobody wears ever. They're actually like cool. There's a teeny tiny fish there. It's not what I want though. I'm trying to think if there's anyone we haven't spoken to. Like, I know we haven't spoken to Anacotti, but I'm now scared to speak to her until she moves out. Um, <laughs> Cause it always makes me nervous. There's no fish here. Um, who did we speak to? We've seen Mac. We haven't seen Anacotti, we've seen Biscuit, Harry, Carlos we saw briefly, Sky we've seen, Marcel we've seen. We haven't seen Frita. Is she in our house? I can go check. I can go check in with Frita. We've actually got quite a few like little groups of animals. Like we have two sheep. Oh she is in our house. Let's go say hi to Frita. Break up this fishing for a little bit here. Frita and Carlos are kind of cool because they're kind of like palette swaps of each other. It's nice. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, I've been playing for an hour. I know. I know. That's probably why nobody's been um, giving me the notification thing. Maybe they'll take my shirts now. <laughs> Frita, I don't think that's how it works, but you know, that's okay. Also, her design and her house are, is like so cool. I mean, look at this. She's literally in a diner. <laughs> she definitely has like one of the best house designs for sure. Looks real cool. All right, let's get back to the fishing grind. See if anybody wants to take my clothes. Hello? Dang it. Come on, girls. You gotta like sort yourself out, please. <laughs> 
very upsetting. Oh, it's gonna happen. This has to be it. Hey, Harry. <sighs> Honestly, I... All right, let's hear what he wants to call me. Shorty? That's a dumb name. I don't want to be called that. Yeah, I'm turning it down. Do you just call me Nicola? <laughs> I do this every time. I The nicknames in this game, the vast majority of them are just really dumb. I don't like them. Hey, look, it's Carlos. Hey, dude. What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? But he was in his he was in his inventory planting flowers. I thought he was like waving at me, and I was like, ah, huh? they can do that. <laughs> that was bizarre. Oh, we don't need these fish either. Um, when do you plan for part two, Dragon Quest Nine, to be up? Also, the first part was great. Thank you. Um, I think it'll be up tomorrow. Tomorrow is um. Thursday. <laughs> uh, Friday, actually. It'll be up on a Friday. Day after tomorrow. And then um, I hope for it to be uploaded on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays for the foreseeable future. It's just starting off this week was a little bit weird because I had to reschedule yesterday's stream to today because I was busy. So I swapped the upload and stream days around. But yeah, as of Next week it'll be Monday, Thursday, Friday, um, and the next part will be up on Friday. Oh no, the mosquito finally got me after all this time. Wow. Let's walk down this side of the river this time. Wait, is that a fish? That's a fish. Let's see what we got here. Is it the turtle? No, it is not. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, turtle. Really want you to, oh, who's this? Oh, it's Sky. I was like, what the heck am I walking into behind the cafe and it was Sky. Hello, Sky. Um, I think that fish is too big. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. I'm just catching like mostly everything just to be sure. How far have I recorded up to? Um, getting party members. So first city and getting party members is where I'm at at the moment. Oh, weird. It, it like took one bite and then swam away. Bizarre. Oh, there's another one. Don't scare it away, please. Oh, dang it. Fish. <laughs> Another sweet fish. I know, right? Not sweet at all. Well, I guess we're gonna have to trek back to retail because this is our life. Carrying around clothing because nobody wants to take it from us, even though I really, really want them to. It's just not happening. <laughs> dang it. Oh, is that Anacati in here? That explains why I haven't seen her. That's fine, actually. Um, I don't mind at all. Because I don't want to talk to her in case she's like, actually, I don't want to move out of town. And I'm like, no, please go. I need to build a fountain where your house is. <laughs> please leave. Ah. Oh. When that fountain's in, though, oh man, it's gonna look real nice. Real, real nice. Oh, look, it's a moth. Hello, moth. I mean, at least we haven't been spooked by bugs yet. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm aware I've probably just jinxed myself terribly, but um, it's not happened yet. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find a walking leaf? They're pretty rare, aren't they? Like, I find myself trying to catch one and I didn't see one all day. And I was like out and about doing chores and stuff and I did not see one. Oh, dang it. But yeah, the walking leaf is like pretty rare for sure. I've definitely had that experience myself. 
Tammy, you don't you don't want a shirt? Okay. I think they've maybe gone to bed though by this time. The walking reef. I think that fish is too small. Hey Mac, we've not walked by you in a while. Shirt? <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> it's just forever disappointment. Every single time. Every single time. Carlos? Nope. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Oh. Are you gonna take a bite or are you too close? You're too close. Alright, let's try again here. Here we go. Oh look, a black bass. As if I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, mosquito, don't add insult to injury. So rude. So rude. Um, we'll go and see Marcel just for a break here because this is like, not fun. Oh, what? I guess I was too slow. That's upsetting. Any secret fish down here? Super secret hidden ninja fish? No? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I feel like this shadow is too big, but I just get so nervous. I don't want to bypass them, but I'm pretty sure every time it's black bass. Okay, I mean that's also fun. <laughs> black bass or koi, I guess. Koi's pretty hype. It's quite rare. But yeah, I think it's this we're looking for. That is not a turtle. It is a barbel steed. Or injury to insult? Yeah, you, good, you raise a good point. It is a mosquito after all. Alright, let's go. Oh wait, did Marcel go out? Oh, Marcel's out and about. Where is he? I want to speak to him. He's probably gone to... Um... Gosh, Main Street. <laughs> Couldn't remember the name of it there. I was like, town? No. <laughs> Main Street. Dang it, Marcel, why did I go say hi to you? That is a big fish. Should we catch this one just for funsies? It could be something nice. Oh, aw. <laughs> the two ranges of the ooh and then the aw. Perfect. <laughs> too slow. Imagine how infuriating it'd be with a mosquito biting you over right to catching a fish. Yeah, that would suck. I think if you have your fishing rod out, it um, won't bite you. I think that's how it works. Oh, dang it. Jeez, I don't think I'm being that slow, but I guess I am. Aw. Oh. Sky. Man, like almost all of these shirts would look great on you. The blue bar tee, the MVP tee, the denim vest would look amazing. I mean, even these two would look cool. Please. <laughs> oh, it's so upsetting. Just want my villagers to look nice, you know? All right, see what we got here then. At least we managed to catch a fish. <laughs> I think I've missed my last three bites. A good old black bass once again. I feel like Tammy's becoming the new Penelope. She seems to be guarding this bridge all the time. <gasps> yes, I do, Tammy. Do you want to buy it? The, more importantly, do you want to wear it? Okay, she's... <laughs> she's giving me a shirt for a shirt. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the game tricks me into thinking I'm getting rid of a shirt, but then gives me another shirt. She's not even going to wear it, is she? No. I mean, she's- we've made her happy. <sighs> this game, I swear, is 
like it knows exactly what's going on somehow. Somehow it knows. I don't know how it knows, but it knows. At least the animals are happy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh, being chased by mosquitoes again. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. Oh my gosh, that was a terrible cast. Hold up. Let's move back here a little bit. Come okay, on, fishy. Here we go. <sighs> I mean, I'm now doubting if I can actually like catch this, but it says soft shell turtle, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. River medium. I, I'm doing the thing, so hopefully we'll find it today. If not, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's not gonna be this small, is it? Like I'm thinking it's gonna be like this size or a little bit smaller. I'm not sure. Probably when you next load up the game, she'll give it back. I bet she will as well. She, what, she took a military shirt? I'll sure put it in her house just to annoy me because she knows that I don't like it hurt being in her house. She's like, <laughs> it's just the fact that she gave me a shirt for a shirt when I'm desperately trying to get rid of shirts. I mean, it's, <laughs> you couldn't write it. You really couldn't. Oh, hey, Ace Tick, welcome. Oh man. I think this fish is too small, but you know what? We're just gonna go for it. Yeah, this is the carp size. See, I would describe this as small, and then there's extra small. Um, we're full again. We're gonna have to go back to retail. I could just release the fishies into the wild. That is another option. I'm not sure if it's any faster though. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> the two fish. Had to scare away the big one, but I guess that's not a huge deal. It's not like I need money or anything, I just got my 10 million bells today. Jeez. Alright. We'll see if there's anything down here and then we'll head over to- Oh look, there's a balloon! Approaching. We'll go pop it. Just gotta make slow progress on that badge, you know? Although we'll see if we can catch this fish. Actually, no, that's too small. I think. Carlos, want a shirt? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I could have I could have got it with my net there if I was a little bit faster. All right, balloon, get over here. Pop. I always like to try and hit the balloon with the middle pellet even though you don't need to do that at all. I just like to do that. All right, we're going to leave the present there. Go and sell our fish to retail and then we'll see how it's going. Mac, do you want a shirt? Nope. <laughs> Dang it. No, Sky? Oh. I don't even know, wait, do they actually wear shirts um, if they give you the little exclamation mark? I'm pretty sure I've, I've had that happen. Because I don't know if it's just having a conversation or if it needs to be the exclamation mark. Maybe it's not the exclamation mark at all. Because they've been asking for shirts, but they've been like just holding on to them or just giving me shirts. Been streaming myself and wanted to pop by. Oh, that's cool. I hope that went well for you. <laughs> yeah, this stream has been two hours of Nicola trying to give shirts to her villagers, but then refusing. I mean, that's pretty accurate. That's feels pretty accurate to me. <laughs> I'm also on the hunt for the soft shelled turtle and I've been river fishing for a little while and not found it yet. So I'm trying to get that. Um, there's a couple things I can go diving for as well. Um, but I'm not so keen on diving. Like I'm pretty sure it's it's this shadow right here. So let's just keep on going. It's probably quite rare, I would imagine. Because I don't really remember it.
And if I don't remember it, that indicates that it's probably quite rare in comparison to the other fish. So we'll see. I'll just run away. Or run so that fish swims away. I think it's too small. S-M-O-L. Small. <laughs> Alright. Man, the river's empty. Oh wait. Is that a fishy? It is a fishy. It's in a really awkward place, but we'll give it a go. Come back here, please. We'll try fishing from down here. Hey friend, thanks for the follow. Um, Meowy in place? Is that how you pronounce that? Oh, dang it. <laughs> fail on the fish and probably fail on pronouncing the name as well. But anyways, thanks for following, friend. Hi there. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, I got it right, at least. You are too small, fish. Please leave. I think you're too big of a fish, but I'ma catch you anyways. In before a black bass. Oh man, it took its time, didn't it? It's now gonna be a koi. Oh no, it is a black bass. Because <laughs> the last time I predicted a black bass, it actually turned out to be a koi. Because the game is just intent on making life difficult for me <laughs> at the moment. That's why I have all these dumb shirts in my inventory that I just really want the animals to take. I'm not gonna open the present, because if I, if I open the present, they'll want it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that was such an aggressive sneeze. Oh my gosh. Phineas is here. What did I do? <laughs> Bless you, thank you. <laughs> uh, what have I got? What have I done, Phineas? Popping balloons! Nice! Oh my gosh, I was just talking about how I had the bronze one earlier and now I have the silver one. Yay! Do -do -do -do. Balloon Buster Badge. Nice. Let me look at my shiny new badge. Yeah. That must have been that one that we just popped, right? <laughs> I'm not actually sure of the numbers for that badge. It's probably like 50, 100, and 500 or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh. Concentration levels were super high there. <laughs> it's just like waiting for the fish to bite. A dace. Well, hey, that's a little bit different. It's not a sweet fish, so I'll take it. Oh, Sky, please take a shirt and put it on. Oh, yeah? You love it? Don't you just love it? Don't you just adore it and want to wear it immediately? <laughs> so this is a thing. I don't think that they actually wear the shirts if you trade them. Which is, like, annoying. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think if it's a trade they actually put them on. Yeah, she's not gonna- <laughs> she's just taking my shirt. I mean, at least she didn't give me a shirt in return. <laughs> it could be worse. Uh, Strange eggs, you're not playing fewer levels on Mario Maker 2, just playing in general. Alright, oh that's a shame. I've not really, um seen too much of Mario Maker 2 actually. Um, like I, I've heard that it's like super fun um, but I don't actually own it so I've not really been watching it. But yeah, that's, that's a shame. It's cool that you're here though anyway. To see me failing at catching fish. <laughs> Silver balloon badge is 100 and gold is 200. Okay, cool. That's not actually that much more to go then from silver to gold. I would have thought it'd be much more. Sky, please. <laughs> the chain gang shirt would have been so cool on her. It's like blue and white stripes. Like it would have been so perfect. I also have the denim vest, which would also look really cool on her because it's blue and white as well. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's slowly improving. Maybe we should just try talking to animals and see if they want the shirt. Because like now I can't remember how it goes, like the conversation. Like I don't- do they ask for clothes usually? 
Is it uh? Is it like when they ask for furniture and you have to um? Bring them something. Is that how clothing works? Because now I'm totally drawing a blank on how that usually works. Ooh, a barbel steed. Nice. Oh, <laughs> mosquito. At least the mosquito doesn't actually leave like a mark or anything like with bee stings to scare away this eel but he's like not close enough for me to scare him. Here's Mac. Man, as if Marcel left. I was gonna go talk to him again. He must be on Main Street because I'm not seeing him out and about in town. They don't ask for clothes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I I thought that it was like the exclamation mark, but I'm, I'm really not sure anymore. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. Hey guys. Man, they're all just looking at me like, get your shirts away from me. <laughs> oh dear. People flock for viewer levels, but when they're told no, they don't join. Oh right, I see. I guess people... Do people just want to watch like really hard levels or really popular levels? I don't really know what the... The cool thing to watch is. Do people watch people making levels? Is that quite popular? Like, creating levels? Because I imagine that'd be quite interesting to watch, but maybe some people would think it's quite boring. I'm not sure. I feel like, in my mind, the most popular thing would be like, you know, the Kaizo style levels. I'm sure that would be like, the thing that would get the views. Because people want to see people getting mad, you know? <laughs> oh dear. To a point. Like, wait. Was that a scary bug? No, it wasn't, was it? Maybe it was just a grasshopper. I'm not sure. I'm trying to catch this awkward fish in the corner here. It's a black bass. Oh, is that the moon there? I think that's the moon just starting to appear on the screen. That's cool. It's nice because the sky hasn't turned completely dark yet, it's still a little bit pink. It's very pretty. See, I enjoy playing Animal Crossing in the evening, but there's a really dumb downside that like nobody but me would think of. <laughs> the downside to playing Animal Crossing at night is the thumbnails are always really dark for the VOD videos. <laughs> so I always find it really hard to pick a thumbnail where you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> Oh dear. Such a, a first world YouTuber problem. I'll try and catch this fish, this looks about right. Ugh. Game is trying to tease you a lot today. Nicola, nice game. What did you say? Mosquito bite. <laughs> yeah. It does kind of feel that way a little bit. I mean, it's it's funny. I don't mind. It's 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 quite interesting how things just seem to happen as if the game knows what's going on. Stop scuttling. I see you there. You're saying scuttle scuttle. It's making me nervous. <laughs> oh, it's another koi. Oh boy. <laughs> I think that was like the wild world or the city folk um, pun thing, but now they say don't be coy with me, which is also good, but I just like saying, oh boy, and that's it, like nothing else. <laughs> uh. Oh, what's this about Mario Maker? The opposite, they want their levels played, they just join to post the code without saying anything just for likes and plays. Really? Gosh. I mean... See, like, if I was streaming, I'd find that kind of annoying because, like, even if you're taking a chance on viewer levels, you don't know if it's any good or not, you know? Like, you could just put in their code and it'd be a really bad level. Like, how are you supposed to judge that? I don't even know how you'd become popular with in terms of like level creator scene. Like there must be so many levels, how do you get the word out there I suppose is what they're trying to do but... 
I feel like if it was a good level, it would happen naturally. But perhaps there's too many for that to work. Oh dear. This fishing is not going so well, friends. Like, I'm in the right time and everything. I'm pretty sure I'm catching the right size of fish. Like, I'm... I'm catching the ones that I know are bigger, but anyway. Um... I don't know, man. Do we need to go to retail? I think I was full there. Well, we could open the present and see what we got from that balloon. That 100th balloon. That was kind of cool for it to happen, like, on stream. A pipe stool. Alright. We can sell that along with our fishies. Wait, do we still have four shirts now or five? I think Sky didn't give us a shirt in return, unlike Tammy. <laughs> it was like the elation that I was actually getting rid of a shirt to then be rewarded with a shirt. Yeah, we have four now. We are making progress. <laughs> oh, we're almost at full on bells, actually. Can you get shirts from the balloons? Um... I don't think there's a balloon shirt. There's a balloon hat. Um, I don't think there's a balloon shirt. I think you just get furniture and the balloon set, which includes the hat. I think. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just furniture. Sky? 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 Don't run away from me, Sky. Hello? Oh, she doesn't want me. <laughs> um, if you had to do any level grinding or side quest in Drag Quest 9, would you stream it? Um, I was thinking about this, and I probably would. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head what that would be. I think it would literally just be level grinding um, for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> so yeah, like we could probably stream that. I don't know how exciting it would be, but it could happen. Oh no, hang on. Hold up, fish. Mac? Hi. Okay. I'm, I can't. I've gone insane. I've gone absolutely nuts. I cannot deal with these shirts anymore. <laughs> oh, game. This is fantastic. Oh, dear. He's not even going to put the shirt on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to catch this fish because it's like a big one. But oh, my God. Oh, I was too slow because I was laughing. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I mean, whatever game. Whatever. So I'm back up to, so I'm at four shirts still. But now I've got a red tie-dye tank. Again, these are nice looking shirts. They're nice looking shirts. Why does nobody want them? I'm getting a lot of um, notifications though, that's kind of cool. I guess I have been playing for quite a while doing this fishing, but even so, Harry? Nope, okay. <laughs> the t-shirts, yeah. I mean, this is like, the whole stream has just been this. <laughs> I'm just slowly losing my mind. Maybe this should be like my challenge, okay? I can't sell these shirts. Carlos? No. I can't sell these shirts ever and I have to play the game with them in my inventory. It's like hard mode. Animal Crossing edition? Dude, that fish just took a bite and swam off. The audacity of this fish. <laughs> what is going on? Ugh. Man, ugh, I can't. <laughs> I can't catch fish. I'm I'm broked. I'm borked. I don't know how to do anymore. Man, would would like hardcore Animal Crossing involve just having one inventory slot? Would that be like the hard mode? What could you do to make Animal Crossing like a challenge? Oh no. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. 
Oh my god, that sucks so bad. So what happened there was there were two fish. The bigger one took a bite. Then it swam away. The little one jumped in and took it. <laughs> oh yeah, <yay>. yay. <laughs> the game is really ramping it up now. See, I think this fish is too small. We don't want that fish. The angelfish is pretty rare, like I shouldn't even be mad. This is too big. This is like your classic black bass right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. What's happened? What does happen? How do Animal Crossing? How do Animal Crossing? Does anyone know? I don't know. Please send help. <laughs> Why are you not recording your face cam with the game collection behind you? Because I'm sitting on the sofa because I've had a really sore back and weirdly my chair that I usually sit at my desk in isn't as comfortable. So I'm sitting on the sofa, um, which is next to my desk. So that's why you've got a different, you've got a nice boring wall behind me. Um, <laughs> although if it was winter time, this might actually be the best view possible. Because, like, behind me there's a blanket on a radiator where Roxy usually sleeps. So come winter time, you will have the best cam because you will pretty much just have a constant Roxy cam. So look forward to that when it's not, like, summer. <laughs> Which it very much is now. It is warm. Very, very warm. Oh, scared a bug off a tree there. That's fine. Not seeing any spooky bugs still. Man, I think every single tarantula or scorpion that I've encountered has been on stream, which I think is a total of like four maybe? Three or four? Fishy? Are you over here? I can't quite tell. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I've lost all ability to fish. It's, it's happening again. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this shadow looks promising. I mean, I caught it. It's a koi. Okay. I didn't realize the koi was from that shadow size. I thought it was a bigger one. Oh, look at these two. They're all so happy this evening. They're just like walking around, singing songs, not caring the world. Not a shirt in the world. <laughs> I see a balloon back there. Oh, oh, I thought that was five. Dang it, I was counting. <laughs> the balloon distracted me. Shirt challenge. All of your villagers have to wear a custom design. Your only way to make money is by selling shirts and you need to fill the shirt catalog. <laughs> Dude, I'd play that. I'd play the heck out of that. <laughs> Just because of how obscure it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, let's get the fishing rod back out here. Man, look at that, we got an angel fish. Incredible. Oh, we'll try catching this one. They're happy because you're getting annoyed about the shirts. I mean, they're all just laughing at me. They're just like, heh, has she tried to talk to you yet? Yeah, what an idiot. Ha ha ha. And then they're like singing about some dumb song about how free they are because they don't, they're animals and they're... Don't do this to me, game. This better be a turtle. It's not a turtle. <laughs> uh, these double fish spawns and everything. It's so mad. <laughs> It's such a weird stream. Uh. Another koi. Wow. I feel like they're rarer than the the amount I'm catching seems quite high. 
then again, I'm not catching any turtles, so maybe we've done like an exchange of luck. Zero turtles, more koi. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Oh hey look, the moon. The moon is slowly making its way across the sky. Gosh, that's just like really significant as to how long we've been fishing for. Something you thought I okay. <laughs> oh no, I think my capture card just disconnected. Hold on. There it goes. Uh, <sighs> Carlos. He's not even giving me the choice. He's not even making me pay for it. He's just giving it to me. Man, I love the mint shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going mad. Like I'm actually losing sanity. Like, if this were Don't Starve, I'd have, like, all the red mist coming around the screen. <laughs> Who hasn't done a shirt thing with me? I don't know. That was Carlos. Carlos has, Sky has, um, Tammy has, and Harry has. I don't know who that leaves. I w look at these, look at this koi collection as well. I'm back up to five. <laughs> I think Mac has as well. I think everybody that's outside right now has done the shirt thing. Let's see what's in here. Office locker. Okay. I'll sell that as well. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Please take that from me. Alright, we've got about 10 minutes left here. Let's see if we can either offload a shirt or catch this turtle. That would be, um... That would be real good. Hello, Sky. Would you like a shirt? Okay. <laughs> the Streamlabs OBS only for streaming, or can you record through it? You can record with it. Um, I record just before I start streaming and then end it right when I end, so I can just upload to YouTube without having to edit it at all. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Which makes the whole process a lot faster. Carlos doesn't want a shirt. You're recoiling. Oh man, that was a really good one, Zelda fan. You're on a roll. A sushi roll. Got him. Hey, it's a carp. We haven't seen many of those. And now I'm just getting excited at the point of different fish. <laughs> like, this is where we've gotten to. I'm just like, wow, it's not a sweet fish and it's not a black bass? Amazing. Boop. Are you going to upload your Nuzlocke to YouTube? Yes, it is tonight's video. And then this VOD will be out tomorrow. And then the next day will be Dragon Quest. And then the next day will be another VOD. Like basically by Sunday I'll be all caught up because um, I wasn't, I couldn't upload stuff. Like I wasn't doing any internet stuff for a while because I was like not feeling well at all. So I'm, I'm behind by one day on the VODs. But by Sunday everything will be all caught up. Yes! We did it! We did it! Oh thank goodness! I caught a soft shell turtle. Don't suffer shell shock. Oh. Wow, that took way longer than I thought it would. Holy crap. We got the turtle! Right before the end of the stream as well. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, let's go put this in the museum. Oh, I was getting worried there. I was like, D does the turtles not exist? Like, where are the turtles? I was turtle formed, but we got it. Oh, that feels really good. 
Only when getting popular in Mario Maker 2 is by climbing one of the 10 leaderboards. Man, I don't even know how it works, to be honest, but um, I hope you can make some progress anyways, friend. Uh, make a donation. Take this turtle. Please. <laughs> Please take it. Oh my god, look at it. He's just wiggling around. Enjoy, Lathers. Jeez. <laughs> so now I think... Yes, we're caught up on fish. I need to get the petal tail dragonfly and the house centipede for the bugs. And then I still need to get the turban shell and the flat worm, the flat worm for diving. So we could go hit a few rocks before the end of this, the stream. <laughs> More fun gameplay here. Always the best Animal Crossing gameplay here on this stream. Hitting rocks for, for centipedes. The joy. All right, let's put this away and I need this. I'm gonna put this away so I don't switch to it by accident. You're playing on math level? Oh yeah, because you can make like calculators and stuff, can't you? Man, I, that blows my mind. I have no idea how, like, people are so creative. Um, it's super cool to see stuff like that in Mario Maker. Cause I, I saw some stuff like that when the first one came out and I'm just like, wow. Oh, there's Harry. Wait, he might want a shirt. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the animal just turns their head and there's just no response and it's just like this. <laughs> you know, your heart sinks. Feels bad, man. So yeah, we're just gonna look for centipedes for the next, like, what, six minutes? <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Explosions. Like, fireworks. Hitting rocks. Ah, oh, dear. The house centipede's, like, really creepy. Like, it's really, like, long. And its legs are really long as well. It's like a thick boy. So I'm not super excited to actually find one because they're kind of creepy looking. Stage builder in Smash is crazy too. Yeah, the Splatoon po post is nuts. Man. It's like something that I'm... When I saw the New Horizon stuff, I was just like, wow, people are going to be going crazy with this like making cool towns and stuff because i like to look at um you know people who do like um use like the edit tool to edit their town in this game like a new leaf and they plant like you know trees in the river and stuff and like it looks so cool and pretty and they can put you know public works projects like close together so they actually look good and stuff like that and I feel like, well, I'm hoping that New Horizons will offer like that little bit more flexibility that um, you can actually achieve some some things that are more unique and less kind of structured. Because some of the public works projects in New Leaf, like, it sucks that you can't put them really close together and stuff. That's definitely a, a downside. Oh, careful now. Watch the flowers. So yeah, I actually managed to get a couple of uh, purple roses, which is quite cool. Um, the hybrids are definitely coming along slowly, um, for sure, but we'll get there. Oh, oh, something popped out, but it was a pill bug. Dang it. That's not what we're looking for. It has to be like this rock, right? It has to be the rock. Oh, it wasn't the rock. <gasps> Harry, my man, my dude. Come on now. I mean, this is completely unrelated to shirts. Mac and cheese, obviously. Not actually a huge fan of tomato, which sucks because it's used in so many things, but I am not a fan of tomato. Noodles. <laughs> noodles. You don't put noodles in mac and cheese. 
I'm thinking of like carbonara or something. Spaghetti carbonara. Noodles. You gotta use tubes, man. Because the tubes hold all the sauce. Noodles. What a guy. What a guy. Like, my respect for Harry has just gone down like 20%. <laughs> Noodles. Hey, Tammy, do you want a shirt? Okay. <laughs> Oh. Thinking of making a new, a new, your new Horizons Town based on where you live. That's cool. Oh, gosh. Dang it. So I used to live in a really small village that was essentially like, you know, Animal Crossing type. You know, you had like three shops and, you know, a park and a school. You know, it was very sort of small. So like that's it's definitely a possibility. That'd be cool. I think I'll probably go with um, naming my town Lily Cove and we'll do like a continuation of the Lily Cove saga. Um, but visually I have no idea. Like I generally quite, I like my Animal Crossing towns to be more natural. Um, with this one I've gone a lot more structured than I usually do and I've definitely enjoyed it. Um, but even just like the fact that you can make paths, dirt paths in New Horizons, immediately I'm just like Fantastic. I don't think that's the house centipede. I think that's just the regular one. Also, I can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Come on, game. No, no. <laughs> it's okay. It was the regular centipede, not the house centipede. Even so, that was such a fail. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm just like flailing my net at Tammy's house <laughs> and just hitting it. Oh, dang it. It's definitely time to end the stream, isn't it? My goodness. <laughs> like, I genuinely fin feel like I've lost some sanity. Tonight I will dream of shirts and turtles. Perhaps turtles and shirts. You never know. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do like one more round and then we'll head back to the rock and I'll sit on the rock. And we'll end off here. You want a t-shirt, Mac? No? Okay, dude, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to wear that d dumb bird shirt your whole life, you know, you can do that. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to keep these shirts in my inventory, and I'll update you if anybody, anybody takes them. See, look, it's just a regular centipede. I want the one with the super long legs. That's very creepy. Let's try this one. Nope. Alright game. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean at least we got the turtle. We had to work for it, but we did get the turtle, so that's something. Oh. Not that one. Here. Alright, we got nothing. Ah. Alright, let's sit on the rock. Look at the pretty moon. It's so nice. Oh, it's such a shame that I don't stream after like 8 because this is my favourite Animal Crossing tune. I love it so much. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is the end of the stream for today. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to continue the Sapphire Nuzlocke. I wasn't sure if I was going to because I felt like it was going to be really boring. Um, but I think I just need to change my attitude a little bit and just take my time and just take things a little bit slowly. So even if tomorrow we play the Nuzlocke for two hours and all I do is grind, like, that's just how it is. I think I just need to accept that and not worry so much about it being action-packed all the time. Um, so yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with another stream. Um, back-to-back -back. streams is a bit weird, but I had to move yesterday's stream because of... Um, I had some family visiting. I went to the zoo, Edinburgh Zoo. It was very nice. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we'll be back. We'll be playing some Sapphire. And um, then we'll be doing another stream on Saturday. And we'll be playing some Splatoon. I think it'd be cool if we could do some Salmon Run. Um, or some Ranked. Because we're now into August, which means things have been reset. So if there's enough people around on Saturday, we'll do a Salmon Run stream, and that can be pretty cool. Um, and aside from that, I think that's all the news I have. 
So, um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for another stream. And then we'll have Dragon Quest on YouTube. And then another stream. And then I'll catch up with the VODs and stuff as well on YouTube. Slowly but surely, <laughs> we'll get there. Um, so yeah, I'll say goodbye for now, friends. Thanks for watching. It was pretty cool just to like chill in Animal Crossing again because it's been a little while since we last did an Animal Crossing stream. So it was fun. I hope you had fun too. Um, so I'll say goodbye for now, friends. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, take care, friends. Bye!